Yeah, yeah. Okay, hello, this is um, well, David Pagan Butler, but I'm here just to show you uh, how the airlift pump works with different diameter pipes and different heights. First of all, I'll just show you what this, this rig is, like an experimental rig. There we go, I've just got three, three pipes, all the same length, about a metre and a half long, uh, different diameters. This one's got a um, oh, sort of hopper at the end, but that was, that was from some other experiment, so just ignore that. Okay, so those pipes all get submerged, and I can control the height that they go down to, yeah? Um, so at the moment we'll just do, we'll start off with five, five centimetres above the water level. Just to see an airlift pump um, bring the water up that high. And uh, what I've done here, I've got an air stone. This one is about four inches long and about half an inch in diameter and um, I've just chosen this one because it's got to fit within the smallest diameter pipe this is a 40 millimeter pipe okay so we've got 110 millimeter 40 millimeter and 70 millimeter pipe so we're just going to compare the flow and the height of different ones uh, first of all let's just have a look at a 70 millimeter pipe at uh, five centimeters head this produces really quite a significant flow and we can measure that with a bucket and a stopwatch okay so um i haven't got a stopwatch but we'll tap it on the video anyway but uh we've we've just done the experiment so we actually we sh we've got a fair idea what's going to happen okay ready go Right, so that, that is probably, probably about seven seconds. Um, so seven seconds for 10 litres. So it's sort of about a litre and a half a second, one and a half litres a second. Okay. One and a half litres a second. That's, that's pretty, um, pretty good. Um, what should we do next? So I'll just show you, show you this one, a 40 millimetre pipe. Ready, go. Okay. Oh. Wow. Anyway, that's probably about twice as long, I reckon. Um, so, uh, so the flow, the flow rate is half, half that. Of the other pipe um, but with a 40 millimeter pipe as we find out um, what it does mean um, is that it can pump to a greater height so in this situation it's been restricted by the diameter of the pipe um, but I'm getting them head myself really it's the 110 millimeter pipe at five centimeters head Okay, so it's pretty. It's a pretty healthy flow, but um, at this head, probably not as fast as the 70 mil. There we go, 70 millimeter. We're not not far off it, but not not as fast. Let's just quickly zip this up to be up more higher. Just show you the. Uh, extreme there's 20 centimeters above the water level clamp that in there okay as you see the 110 millimeter diameter pipe can't cope with it at all no flow take infinity okay 70 millimeter pipe yeah it can it can it can cope with that yeah um, I 
the flow rate the flow rate is uh, is far less than um, it was when it was um, uh, five centimeters above the water so th this is probably probably half half of that half of the flow rate before there we go 10 liters now okay so I don't know that's pr probably worked out about half a liter a second I'm just guessing yeah. um, but are you still with me okay. 40 millimeter pipe you're gonna think what on earth's going on here it's just so so random um, 40 millimeter pipe gill There we go. So in this, the flow seems to be a lot quicker. There's a lot, bit more, bit more flow at this height from a 40 millimeter pipe. 10 liters is now. Okay. So at this height, if you have a higher head, 20 centimeters, then if you want to achieve that head, then you'll need a smaller diameter pipe. Okay or a longer pipe so instead of being a meter and a half it could be uh, it could be two meters or more then you're going to get a greater head if you want that sort of high pr higher pressure uh, if you wanted to push it through a filter or whatever then that would be the thing to go for but if you wanted zero head maximum flow this is where the let's put this down right, put it down to, to, to zero let's just see what happens if we're just interested in circulation alone okay now being so low just make it tricky to measure with a bucket but we have done that um, or near enough just slightly above zero um, oh let's anyway I'll just show you just a visual thing so here the larger diameter pipes come into their own okay because I've got larger diameter, there's less resistance to the flow, so there's more, more water can rush through. That's a 70 millimeter pipe, and then we go to 110 millimeter pipe because it's not having to lift anything. It produces produces a, a very, very substantial flow. And then if we drop it further in there, oh. Okay, drop, let's just drop that pipe down in there. We see we've got a really uh, hefty flow going on there. And that's probably about five liters a second, um, which equates to uh, about 18, 18 cubes an hour, 18 cubes an hour. Uh, and in this pool, there's probably about 200 cube, cubic meters of water. So in about 12 hours, about 12 hours that could circulate the entire volume of the pond. Uh, let's just chuck something into some. Uh, it's hardly gushing because it, well, it does, it does gush, it's just that, that that is not the best thing to try. Uh, there we go, bit of wood. Oh, Oh. Hey. Oh, what's that? Go on. And um, I've just chosen this one because it's got to fit within the smallest diameter pipe. This is a 40 millimeter pipe. Okay, so we've got 110 millimeter, 40 millimeter, and 70 millimeter pipe. So we're just going to compare the flow and the height of different ones. Uh, first of all, let's just have a look at a 70 millimeter pipe at uh, five centimeters head. This produces really quite a significant flow and we can measure that with a bucket and a stopwatch. Okay, so um, I haven't got a stopwatch but we'll tap it on the video anyway. But uh, we've We've just done the experiment, so we actually we sh we've got a fair idea what's going to happen. Okay, ready? Go. Stop! 
Right, so that that is probably probably about seven seconds. Um, so seven seconds for ten liters. So it's sort of about a liter and a half a second, one and a half liters a second. Okay. One and a half liters a second. That's that's pretty um, pretty good. Uh, As the 70 mil, there we go, 70 millimeter. We're not not far off it, but not not as fast. Let's just quickly zip this up to be up more higher. Just show you the uh, extreme. There's 20 centimeters above the water level. Clamp that in there. Okay. As you see, the 110 millimeter diameter pipe can't cope with it at all. No flow, take infinity. Okay. 70 millimeter pipe. Yeah, it can, it can, it can cope with that. Yeah. Um. But flow rate. The flow rate is uh, is far less than um, it was when it was um, uh, five centimeters above the water. So th this is probably probably half half of that half of the flow rate before. There we go, ten liters. Now, okay. So I don't know. That's pr probably worked out about half a liter a second. I'm just guessing. Yeah. Um, um, what you do next? So I'll just show you, show you this one, a 40 millimeter pipe. Ready, go. Okay. Anyway, that's probably about twice as long, I reckon. Um, so, uh, so the flow, the flow rate is half, half that of the other pipe. Um, but with a 40 millimeter pipe, as we find out, um, what it does mean um, is that it can pump to a greater height. So, in this situation, it's been restricted by the diameter of the pipe. Um, but I'm getting ahead myself, really the 110 millimeter pipe at five centimeters head okay so it's a pretty it's a pretty healthy flow but um, at this head probably not as fast yeah yeah okay hello this is um well, David Pagan Butler, but I'm here just to show you uh, how the airlift pump works with different diameter pipes and different heights. First of all, I'll just show you what this, this rig is, like an experimental rig. There we go, I've just got three, three pipes all the same length, about a metre and a half long, uh, different diameters. This one's got a... Um, oh sort of hopper at the end but that was that was from some other experiment so just ignore that okay so those pipes all get submerged and I can control the height that they go down to yeah um, so at the moment we'll just do we'll start off with five five centimeters above the water level just to see an airlift pump um, bring the water up that high. And uh, what I've done here, I've got an air stone. This one is about four inches long and about half an inch in diameter. What? Are you still with me? Okay. 40 millimeter pipe. You're going to think, what on earth is going on here? It's just so. So random. Um, 40 millimeter pipe. Go. There we go. So in this, the flow seems to be a lot quicker 
there's a lot bit more bit more flow at this height from a 40 millimeter pipe 10 liters is now okay so at this height if you have a higher head 20 centimeters then if you want to achieve that head then you'll need a smaller diameter pipe okay or a longer pipe so instead of being a meter and a half it could be uh, it could be two meters or more then you're going to get a greater head if you want a sort of high pr higher pressure uh, if you wanted to push it through a filter or whatever then that would be the thing to go for but if you wanted zero head maximum flow this is where the let's put this down let put it down to, to, to zero let's just see what happens if we're just interested in circulation alone